Hello everyone, I'll be bringing forth to you a game played in the just concluded Nigerian National Chess Championship 2023. This game was played between two of the finest chess players in Nigeria, a young and talented 20 year old Olisa Tenensin, who was the winner of the Southwest National Blitz Tournament in 2022. He won the tournament ahead of 73 older participants. Uh, with a brilliant score of six and a half of the possible seven, and his opponent, international master Oluwafemi Balogun. Oluwafemi Balogun became the first African to play a reigning world champion in a competitive match. He achieved this feat in the 2017 FIDEL World Cup held in Georgia against none other than Magnus Carlsen himself even though Magnus Carlsen defeated him in the opening round of the tournament. Now let's crack on with the game. Tennyson with the white pieces open with 1c4, e5, knight c3, knight f6, knight f3, knight c6, and this is the four knight variation of the English opening. e3, bishop b4, queen c2, bishop takes knight, Queen takes bishop. Queen e7. B3. Castles. And very soon we'll be having some interesting moments in this game. Bishop b2 was played. Rook e8. A3. A5. Bishop e2. D6. D3. H6. Castles. And in this position, Balogun decided to play on the king side by playing his knight to h7 and with the idea that he wants to push this pawn to f5 on the next move but a more active way to play in this position would have been bishop to f5 and after rook e1 you play d5 with the idea that after taking you take with the knight threatening the queen, the queen moves back, because of the four k you have to retreat your bishop. And this will be a more active way to play. But in the position, he played knight h7. And Tennyson continued with h3. f5 played, which was the original plan, b4. Then Balogun made a mistake by playing knight to g5. Missing Tennyson's next move, which is b5. Kicking back the knight, gaining tempo on the move, and having a nice pawn structure, even after playing a4. Then knight retreats to d8. Knight takes g5, played almost immediately. And here, Balogun thought for a little over 6 minutes and took with the queen, which is slightly inaccurate. The pawn, pawn takes was better. But after taking with the queen, now there is f4, attacking the queen, and if you take here, you are opening up the diagonal for the for a strong bishop and queen combo, which is also threatening mate. So he retreats his queen, and here yeah, the play continues with bishop f3. C5 was played. Tennessee made his first mistake by playing M percent here. He played M percent. And this is the move that gave Black the uh, um, chance to get back into the game. A more appropriate way to play in this position would have been to play E4 with the idea that after pawn takes, you take with the bishop. Bishop blocks, bishop check, the king side steps, pawn takes, and knight in. This would have been a better way to continue the game. But after M percent played on the move, after M percent, knight takes. C5, pawn takes. Pawn takes, knight takes pawn. 
and now the position is almost equal. Then Tennyson played queen takes c5. And almost immediately, Balogun found a very nice move. Knight takes bishop, eliminating the bishop pair. And the only move here is to take with the rook on f3. Then after rook takes, Balogun made a mistake by playing bishop e6 which was played a little bit too early. Let's take stock of the position. A more silent move and active move could have been rook a6, which we owe the position. Because after a move like rook to c1, you have rook here, queen takes pawn, rook takes rook, bishop takes rook, then you have queen to d6 threatening the pawn on d3 then queen has to defend the pawn then now you can play bishop to e6 but Balogun missed that and he played bishop to e6 anyways and here yeah, Tennessee played king h2 Balogun thought for almost a little bit over 10 minutes and played rook to c8 attacking the queen and now it is very important to tell you that after taking a long thing balogu is now down to under five minutes so the play continued with queen takes a5 queen f7 rook g3 g5 trying to make some counter play on the king side h4 was played trying to put pressure on the pinned g5 pawn but yeah he must have missed a move because in this position it is important to go f4 with the idea that because you can't move the rook with the idea that after pawn takes you take with the queen the only move that serves the situation is to play queen to b4 extending the queen and now this position should be easy to hold for black but with little time on the clock balogun missed balogun missed it and played g4 closing down this the position and this move in this position a useful move would have been rook to f1 exploring that there is an indirect pin on this pawn and you can now take the pawn on g4 but instead Tennyson played queen to e5 threatening mate on h8 on the next move so Balogun found a great move here and played king h7. Tennyson plays f1, rook to f1, which was the idea on along. And now things are about to get interesting. Balogun found yet another great move by playing bishop d7, a discovered attack on the queen. Queen d4 was played. It is again important to tell you that Balogun has less than 2 minutes on his clock compared to Tennyson's 48 minutes. So in this position, Balogun played rook g8. And this is a blunder. Let me explain to you why. In fact, let Tennyson explain actually. Rook takes pawn. Rook takes rook. Queen takes because you can't take the queen. After queen takes, you take with the rook, king goes up and you win the bishop. Of course, he, white has the material advantage. So, after this series of moves, Balogun played rook to g8 again, trying to create some counterplay. Olicia continued with queen f4. Now, 
queen d5 was played trying to create some counterplay you know with this now there is a mate threat on g2 but Tennyson realizes and continues with e4 blocking the attack queen takes d3 then if pawn takes the tr original threat was reactivated and in this position rook f3 was simply played after rook f3 h5 was played then the player continues with bishop c1 he played rook to g4 queen check great move king goes to e8 Tennessee made a bad move here by taking on on h5 and balogun found the best move in this position queen to e4 so now the player continued with bishop g5, blocking the threat. Then Balogun played bishop takes pawn. Bishop f6 was played. Now, in this position, Balogun played bishop to h7, which is a big mistake. A very nice way to force an instance resign resignation is to play rook f2. With the idea that you do not have any reasonable move and let's say you play a move like b6 pawn to g3 you play queen to e6 now you simply ignore that there is an attack on the bishop and go rook d2 and this will force an instant resignation because black will be down with a lot of material or even get mated but in this position tennessee played king to c5 continued with bishop g6 queen checks on c8 bishop blocks bishop g5 now again balogun is simply playing blitz at this position more or less bullet because he's very very low on time queen checks rook e4 queen b7 and now queen e6 was played check King to h2, king e5 check, open to repeat the position, rook blocks, rook g4, taking advantage of the pin. Now, queen f3 was played to protect the rook. And it is also again important to note that if white manages to trade the rook and the queen, off the board is completely winning so bishop h5 was played bishop f4 queen e6 rook takes rook bishop takes g4 now a set the set of rooks are off queen checks king h7 queen a7 check king g6 queen to e3 offering the trade of queens queen e3 queen d7 redirecting the trade Queen e5, bishop e6, queen checks on g5, king to h7, bishop c5, bishop g4, h5, bishop f5, g4, attacking the bishop. Bishop e4 was played and queen g5 played in this position. With the idea that if you play a random move that isn't a check, take on g4, h8, he simply made king to go to so in this position balogun played his queen to d2 check king g3 was played king queen checks again on e3 king h4 queen checks again g5 queen checks on d2 bishop blocks on b4 and now there's only one check for for the black queen and he played queen checks on d5 king retreats back to f4 and now there are no more checks so bishop d3 was played opening the space for the king to check on h1 Tennyson played queen e7 check king goes to g8 of course balogun is very low on time and he played this move king g8 which is the final mistake of the game because because after queen g5 check you have to take with your queen if not you'll be losing the queen 
and now with the queens of the board and the majority um and with two pawns on the queen side and a pawn on the king side i mean the bishop can only sacrifice itself for one of the pawns but still one of the pawns we queen and Olisa went on to win the game now this is a brilliant game for Olisa and it is just um a mistake from Balogun that he spent a lot of time in some of his moves so time management wasn't was a big factor in this game so that will be it for the game um until next time um until next time um summer babs peace and love peace and chunks